It was with daybreak that the full extent of the destruction became clear. A modern industrial zone in one of China's biggest cities had been blown apart. The first explosion was equivalent to three tons of TNT. The second, 21 tons. The blast wave rocked buildings miles away and was detected in the US as a seismic event. Tianjin's hospitals have been overwhelmed, having to turn some of those with minor injuries away. The wider country is watching these scenes with horror and disbelief. We saw fire but didn't expect there would be explosions. I was actually quite far away from the explosion site. I was working at the security booth and suddenly I heard the bang. and I lay down immediately but still got injured. The security booth was destroyed completely. Suddenly there was an explosion. Then I heard another burst. I escaped and I was running away. I got blood all over my body. Well, this is pretty much the front line of where the emergency workers have come to. You can see some of the fire crews taking a break. And if we walk this way, you can see the giant stacks of containers on the site. The explosion has tumbled them down, broken and buckling them as it's done so. And you can see that thick black acrid smoke still billowing from the site and you can taste that smell of burning hanging heavy in the air. The fire burned so intensely here that in places the metal ran molten and the cars are still hot to touch and this scene of burnt and blackened cars stretches in every direction row after row as far as the eye can see. These dormitory buildings for migrant workers were all but flat. When the third blast came, the whole thing collapsed, this man tells me. And at this nearby apartment complex, almost every window in every building has been blown out. An extraordinary force tearing through hundreds of family homes with lethal effect. I feel very lucky to be alive, this man says. But industrial accidents with large-scale loss of life are all too common in a system in which profit and political connections are often put before safety concerns. The emergency in Tianjin is far from over. The fire is still burning and there's the added fear that the hazardous chemicals that were stored here may now be spread over a wide area.